and you know a senior in this room, you give him everything in your body today. You break your neck to break their neck. That's how you win big games. You hit them in the mouth. You hit them in the mouth, King. Every single one of y'all in here are King. promise to God. You feel me? Yes, sir. Look, man. Just like that man said, they 13 just like us. You understand? Yes, sir. Starting from this game today. Starting from this game today. You hear me? Yes, sir. Man, we're going to play Indian football like we used to. You hear me? Yes, sir. I'm talking about, y'all already know, physical, disrespectful, low down, dirty, nasty, nasty, dope, 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 dope. 100% man for one hour 100% do you hear me yes sir I promise you if you do everybody over there at that stadium on World Rock Road when we leave you get what they're gonna be saying and telling their friends that 13 you in the team like that they like that for real because a lot of people ain't never seen us play a lot of people ain't doing but just heard talk you hear me yes sir it's over man ain't no more games man we practice too hard you get the best training Right now, I seen so many of y'all improve from last year. It's crazy. Made me proud. I'm telling you. But man, look, all we got to do 
Whatever play Coach Andrew sent in or Coach Fred sent in, let's do it, man. Blocking assignments. Tashawn on that old line. Be voiceful. Let them dudes know what they're supposed to do. That one to come in out, out the gate, you. You in there with them, you got to be a leader. Defense, we're going to handle our business. Y'all know that. Straight lockdown, straight shutdown. You understand? Yes, sir. Look, man. Ain't nothing else to talk about, man. We got to do it. You hear me? Yes, sir. We got to do it, man. It's starting from the day. It's starting from right now, from this day. And what we got, what, five, six more games up? Yes, sir. After that, after this game, we going straight to run the table. Run the table, man. Like we been doing. You hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, we the same team. We the same team. But now, one thing different. Now we got something to prove we pissed off. We pissed off how they tried to play us. They ain't had no kind of books or nothing. We see a play, it's cool. Now, I feel sorry for the next team we finna face. I feel sorry for them kids, you hear me? Yes, sir. Cause we finna handle that grown man business like we do. Right? Yes, sir. 13 right now. When we get on that field, we grown men. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. Let's go ahead on. Once Mikey get dressed out, we'll go ahead and get, in our, get our lap in. And we'll do some um, drills. Set up all the people to kick off your return, okay? Yes, sir. All right, today we are here with the AYFL Youth Football League, the Winston-Salem Indians, 13U. We're here to interview them today on their successes, on the preparation, the things that it takes for these guys to be successful. Right now, I have Coach DT with me, and he's gonna give you guys a, a glimpse of what it takes to be a coach, teaching the youth. Also, how this affects him, how it affects all the kids around him. Coach, it's on you. Um, with the 336, uh, Indians, um, 13 Unlimited, right here on Waterworks Road. Um, yeah, man, we got an awesome thing going on out here. We practice hard, we play hard, and it's about the kids. It's about the kids. And um, awesome coaches on our staff, plenty of experience. Head Coach Yancey, um, Office Coordinator Fred Brown, crazy. Straight like that, but um, I'm with it. Come on with them questions. So, uh, what's the purpose of the AYFL Football Youth League? Um, what, is, what what are your intentions on when you're coaching these kids? What, what are your intentions? Well, my intentions is um, to instill character, um, teach them about the game, um, football on my crew, and um, how to play your positions, and how to be a young man, a productive young man. A lot of these kids don't got men in their life, so the coaches are like role models, you know what I mean? So you got to have your, your house in order and, uh, and you got to have your thing together because ain't nobody going to respect you if you ain't you coming out there you ain't 100 with them. I'm going to keep it real. Everybody know who I am. I'm straight like that. I ain't going to say that to make you happy. I'm not going to say that just because I want you to like me. You might not like me, but you're going to respect me. And uh, we go hard, man. We got dogs, straight dogs. And them, them, them ones you see today, them ones you see today that, that's going to get interviewed today, straight dogs. Up next, we have Coach Fred Brown uh, from the uh, Winston-Salem Indians uh, Youth Football League. He's going to give you a glimpse of what it's to be coached for these spectacular young men and females. Coach Fred Brown, been coached for 15 years uh, here at the Winston-Salem Indians. I started out right here at the Indians. 2013 was our first year coming over to the AYF. Uh, in 2013, you know, I took these boys. Half of them still on this team right now. I took them to uh, Florida, we won a national championship. Yeah, we won at a D2 level, but we won it, you understand? Nobody else in this city has ever won a national championship. We have though, right here at the Winston-Salem Indies, just to give y'all a little bit of history. You know, we won five state championships, six regions, and we'd have been in Florida twice. A national championship and a third place, two years back to back in the AYL. I'm Tashawn, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Tashawn, why you got your knees? My knees don't need these. <laughs> 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 my knees don't need these
My name is Deirdre Coleman and I'm one of the many team moms that are involved with this team. We kind of have a village concept where it's not just one team mom or a team dad. We all are as parents and are team moms and team dads and we all participate in making sure that these kids have everything that they need. My association with AYF began probably about four years ago. My son started out here as a younger player that actually before they lifted the weight restriction had to play with, with 12 and 13 year olds at nine years old. So we were able to kind of experience firsthand not only the growth of him as an athlete, but the growth of the organization as well. And we've seen nothing but positive things over the years. We've seen an enrollment in the numbers. We've seen an enrollment, uh, a growth in the community involvement. We've seen just it explode as we're able to reach out and touch more young people every year. We've been to Florida with AYF twice, uh, once with the Indians and additionally with an All-American team that they form every single year and we were able to bring uh, back a third place national trophy last year with the uh, PYFL AYF All-Star team. Dear Lord, as we go out here and play this football game, dear Lord, it's football. Remember that at the end of the day, dear Lord. Dear Lord, just thank you for everything you've done for us, dear Lord. And as we go out here, we go hard, we go dirty, we go nasty, and yes, we some dogs, dear Lord. Yes, and dear Lord, I just want them to know that we coming for them, dear Lord. In Jesus' yes, name sir. I pray, amen. Amen!
Look, look, one other thing. I've been seeing a lot of about on the field. Did you guys talk to the refs? Who, who wants to talk to the refs? Coaches. Leave it up to the coaches, guys. Don't you worry about the refs, okay? Let us worry about the refs. If they're doing anything unfair to you, trust me, we, we will be on their team, all right? And we're not going to beat the refs, all right? They're not going to see every call. We already know that. They're not going to be in our favor at all, okay? Let's go back out there and let's win this football game. It's 0-0 zero, zero right now. I don't care what that scoreboard say. We got to play like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Continue to play like that, all right? We need three more touchdowns on this board, okay? Hey, other than that right there, man, good job. Continue to block for one another, all right? Talk to each other. I know that defense, communicate, man. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing but picks all day in the air. Okay? That's all that's out there for you. Because they're going to keep throwing the ball. We're going to keep picking them. Oski, take it to the house. That's all That's all we got to do, guys. All right? On offense, block your first man. Who can beat you one-on-one? -on -one? I said, who can beat you one-on-one? -on -one? No, y'all don't understand what I said. Who can beat you one-on-one? -on -one? Nobody. Exactly. Y'all get off your Guys, listen up. Them guys don't got no fin fin this close to us. Do you understand that? Look, man, they cannot move the ball. You hear me? Man, look, let's take over, man. Take over right now. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Let's take over. Offensive line. Do what we do in practice. Like Cole say, you practice how you play. You understand? Yes, so what? Cole, they stuck on my hand. Who cares? That's nothing. Stop handicapping yourself. Now, if you just ran a 90-yard touchdown, okay. You deserve to get a breather. But other than that, we got to play, man. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Look here. In 15 seconds, we finna get on up. Man, look at them. They on their feet. Get your ass up. Let's go. Let's go. We got to go. Y'all ready? Go. Everybody, come on, four lines over here. Thank you, Daddy. Appreciate it. Get up, boy.